Centrifugal pumps are currently utilized across a vast array of domestic and industrial processes, from supplying the water used in residential buildings to industrial applications like food, beverage, and chemical manufacturing. Different types of centrifugal pumps are required to effectively meet pumping requirements. This video illustrates the various centrifugal pump types and the applications to which they are best suited. For those that are not that familiar with this device, a typical centrifugal pump comprises one or more impellers attached to a rotary pump shaft. This arrangement provides the energy required to direct fluid through the pump system and the associated piping. The impellers turning in sync with the pump shaft converts dynamic mechanical energy from the pump motor into the energy of moving fluids. Before we dive into the main topic, there is a technical term that should be clarified. That is pump head. In simple words, the pump head is pressure defined as the height to which the pump can raise the fluid to. It is important as it evaluates a pump's capacity to do its job. The most important specifications of a pump are its capabilities regarding flow and pressure. The centrifugal pumps can be classified based on many factors such as construction, design, application, service, and industrial standards. Therefore, one centrifugal pump can be placed into different groups at the same time. Some of these groups have been highlighted below. Impeller. Depending on the number of impellers in the pump, pumps can be classified as per the following. Single stage pumps. The single stage centrifugal pump has a single impeller, featuring a simple design and easy maintenance. These pumps are excellent for applications with high flow rates and low pressure purposes. They are commonly used in pumping services of high flow and total dynamic head (TDH) from low to moderate ranges. Double stage pumps. This type of pump houses two impellers operating side by side. And is generally used in middle head applications. Multiple stage pumps. The multi stage pumps are designed with three or more impellers connected in series. These pumps are engineered to achieve maximal efficiency and are best for high head applications. Categorized by type of impeller design. Single section. This kind of pump has a single section impeller that allows fluid to enter the blades only through one side. It has a simple design, but the impeller has a higher axial thrust imbalance due to flow coming in on one side of impeller only. Double suction. This particular type of pump comes with a double suction impeller that allows fluid to enter from both sides of the blades, and has lower MPSHR. Namely, net positive suction head required than a single suction impeller. Split case pumps are the most common type of pump with a double suction impeller. Type of case split. The orientation of case split is another factor used to categorize centrifugal pumps. Axial split. In these kinds of pumps, the volute casing is split axially. And the split line at which the pump casing separates is at the shaft center line. Axial split pumps are typically mounted horizontally due to easing installation and maintenance. Axial pumps generate fluid motion via a lifting effect of their impeller vanes. Radial split. Here, the pump case is split radially. The volute casing split is perpendicular to the shaft center line. By design, a radial centrifugal pump permits an outward motion of the liquid channel through it. The pumped liquid is pressurized and excited through downstream piping. Many centrifugal pump systems are radial in configuration and are manufactured to meet certain industry standards. By type of volute, centrifugal pumps can also be categorized based on volute, namely single volute and double volute. Single volute. This kind of pump is usually used in small low capacity pumps, where a double volute design is impractical due to a relatively small size of the volute passageway 
which makes obtaining good quality commercial casting difficult. Pumps with single volute design have higher radial loads. Double volute. This kind of pump volute has two partial volutes which are located 180 degrees apart, resulting in balanced radial loads. Most centrifugal pumps are of double volute design. Depending on the location of the bearing support, bearing support is also often used to categorize centrifugal pumps. Overhung, where the impeller is mounted on the end of a shaft supported by bearings on only one side. Further, the overhung pump type has a horizontal orientation of shaft, or can be vertical in line with bearing bracket. Between bearing. Where the impeller is mounted on a shaft that has bearing support on both ends, thus impeller is located in between bearings. Depending on shaft orientation, shaft orientation is another characteristic which distinguishes the type of centrifugal pumps. Horizontal. These are pumps with a shaft in the horizontal plane, popular due to ease of servicing and maintenance. It is sometimes overhung or placed between bearing design. Vertical. Vertical centrifugal pumps have their shaft in the vertical plane. They utilize a unique shaft and bearing support configuration that allows the volute to hang in the sump while the bearings are outside the sump. It is generally an overhung and of radial split case type design. At ATO. We provide standards and custom-built centrifugal pump solutions for a wide range of commercial and industrial processes, including agriculture, food manufacturing, and oil and gas. With a massive selection of centrifugal pumping systems to choose from, you are guaranteed the best fit for your unique applications. Contact us online today for a quote or to learn more about our state-of-the-art pump technologies.